Salary, wage, and income. An employee who is paid by the hour is referred to as a wage earner. So meaning to say, the amount received by that employee is called the wage. The employee is paid at a regular rate for a stated minimum number of hours, regular hours, usually 8 hours, and at a higher rate for extra hours work, overtime hours. I mean to say, if you work for 10 hours, the 2 hours there is called the overtime hours. If you have a regular hours of 8 hours. An employee is usually paid more per hour when working on holidays, Sundays, evenings, etc. So meaning to say holidays, Sundays, evenings have um, higher rates than the regular days. If an employee doesn't work or does not work, he or she doesn't get paid. So in um, wage basis, no work, no pay. Wages are made on an hourly, daily, weekly, or fortnight basis. So when you say fortnight, uh, two weeks. And are calculated on the total hours work or the items produced. So in other words, um, not just for the hour work, but also for some companies, you know, items produced. They consider the items produced. Minimum wage is the lowest amount of money an employee is allowed to be paid for one hour of work as defined by the law. So, um, the minimum wage rates are based on regular working hours of 8 hours a day. So, 8 hours a day. That's the regular working hours. So, the Philippines has um, daily minimum wage rates that vary from region to region ranging from 316 pesos to 537 pesos a day. So that's for 8 hours a day. So 316 pesos to 537 pesos for this year 2021. The wages are set by tripartite regional wage boards located in every region. An employee who is paid with a fixed amount of money for each time period, such as a day, week, or such as day, week, month, or year, is called salaried employee. So the amount received by the employee in this case is called salary. So that's the difference between salary and wage. When we say wage, it's um, the amount paid by the hour worked by the employee. And when we say salary, it's the amount, it's a fixed amount received by the employee uh, for each time period, such as day, week, month, or year. The amount is determined usually in a contract which is signed before employment starts. So you will know already your salary no? before employment starts. Salaried employees are paid the same amount every pay period, regardless of hours of work, holidays, etc. They are not paid for any extra work they might do. Now let's talk about allowances. Allowances are special types of earning or income given by a firm or a company to meet special needs of the employees. So examples of allowances are travel, uniform, housing, meal, transportation, etc. Now let's have pay, income, earnings, and remuneration. So these are just the same. No? These are general terms used to describe the payment for work done. So allowance or allowances are special types of earning or income. Salary is also a kind of income. Wage is also a kind of income. And um, they're just the same. Pay, income, earnings, and remuneration. Let's have gross pay. Gross pay is the total amount earned by an employee. It consists of one type or a combination of different types of remuneration. 
gross pay may also be called total earnings or total pay. So, sometimes gross pay is the amount um, you see in your contract. Ano? So, that's the gross pay. And then, net pay is the amount received by the employee after deductions are made from the gross pay. So, after deductions are made, you will receive your net pay. Usually, net pay is called uh, the take-home pay. And the amount you will see in your ATM card is your net pay. Okay? So, the deductions are already been deducted. <clears throat> now, let's have this example. Nena is paid 60 pesos an hour. Last week, Nena worked 12 hours a day for 4 days. Find her gross pay for last week. So let's have this one. This is the solution. So, 60 pesos an hour times 12 hours a day. 12 hours a day. And then, the number of days, 4 days. So, the gross pay of Nena is 2,880 pesos. Next, let's have this one. Aljun earns 12,500 pesos a week. Aljun is paid every fortnight or every two weeks. What gross pay does he receive each payday? So for the solution, we have 12,500 peso, 12, pesos a week times two weeks. That will be 25,000 pesos. <clears throat> Um, the amount he received for this particular payday. Next, let's have this one. Clint's monthly salary is 33,500 pesos. His monthly deductions are as follows. Co-op juice, 1,300. Insurance, 2,150. Credit card, 4,510. And income tax of 15% of gross pay. Calculate his net pay. So, 15% of gross pay. That's the income tax. For the solution, we have 33,500 for the gross pay minus the deductions 1, 3, 2, 1, then 4, 1, 4, 5, 1, 0. Then 15% for the income tax. 15% of the gross pay. So, 15% of this is 5,025. So, getting the total of that, we have 12,985. Subtracting this, all the deductions from the gross pay will get the net pay of 20,515. So, that is um, the net pay. Okay, so let's talk about pay slip. It is a form given by an employer to the employee that shows earnings for a defined pay period. So it shows gross pay and then the deductions that includes all the statutory deductions. So when you say statutory deductions, these are deductions stated by the law. So required by the law to be deducted from your gross pay along with other voluntary deductions. So the voluntary deductions are also indicated in the pay slip. After this calculation, after the deductions uh, have been made, uh, you will see the net pay of an employee. Alright, so that is what we call pay slip. Now, there are other ways to earn an income aside from salary, wage, and allowances. Number one, we have self-employment wherein a person works for themselves rather than for an employer. Number two, piece work, wherein an employee is paid for each piece of quality item that he or she completes. The wages are paid on a piece rate basis, which is usually used in factories. Number three, commission wherein a person earns based on the sales he or she makes. So 
companies set their own rates and schemes for commissions. Number four, we have service charges wherein an employee that works for service establishment such as hotels, restaurants, clubs, etc. which are which charge an additional percent to customer's bill is entitled to an equal share in a certain percent of the total service charges, not including the managerial employees. So, for example, ano, the, the service charges, the total, will be distributed to the employees, ano, excluding the managerial employees. Some establishments don't collect service charges, but instead pooled tips or collected tips given voluntarily by the customers to the employees. Tips must be pulled or collected and distributed in the same manner as the service charges. So these are other ways to earn an income. Self-employment, piecework, commission, service charges, and tips.